After witnessing one of the world's greatest nature wonders, Angel Falls, and exploring Caracas, which you could see in the last video, it was time to explore other parts of Venezuela. One of the most unique areas in the country is called Los Llanos. It's a wide, treeless savanna that is covered with swamp grasses and rivers and it stretches out more than half a million square kilometers throughout Colombia and Venezuela. There's an abundance of some incredible wildlife, birds, crocodiles, capybaras, anacondas and many more. Getting to Los Llanos isn't that straightforward. First, we had to fly from Caracas to a town called Barinas. This flight is operated by almost a 40 years old Boeing 737-300, but we safely landed an hour later. From there, it was another 4 hours by car before finally arriving to Los Llanos. And welcome to a completely different part of Venezuela. We are in the southwestern part called Los Llanos, which is a big area that stretches out all the way from Venezuela to Colombia. It's kind of a savanna. And here there's a lot and a lot of wildlife, all sorts of different crocodiles, birds, and even anacondas live here. And we'll spend the following two days here and hopefully we'll see a lot of animals and maybe I'm praying that we'll see even some anaconda. <laughs> Here, you really have to keep your eyes wide open because you never know what animal will you see in the next second. The wildlife is all around you and the more time we spend just exploring around, the more I love this place. Good morning here from Los Llanos. Right now it's about 6.30 a.m. and there's this beautiful light on Llanos lanes and already the animals are starting to wake up. So we are now going to discover another part of this beautiful, beautiful area, Los Llanos. We are now on a quest to find the infamous anaconda here in Los Llanos. And to do that, we had to cross the river by boat and now we hopped off and we're walking in here in this savanna covered uh, partially in water. And hopefully we will be lucky today and we'll, we will stumble upon some anacondas. Soon enough, we really found not just one, but four different anacondas. Because it was still scorching hot, all of them were hiding from the sun under this layer of mud. Because we would really disturb them if we would try to take them out, we just let them rest and only watch them from afar. After exploring Los Llanos from the mainland, we hopped on a small boat before sunset to see the place from a different perspective.
the fun really begins because the boat engine stopped working and there are literally like thousands of mosquitoes constantly biting me all over around because of this water everywhere. So after some time and about hundreds of bites from mosquitoes later, they managed to fix it somehow, at least temporarily. So I hope we will get, manage to get back to the mainland a few kilometers there before it again stops working. So wish us good luck. The next morning, we woke up very early to go and see our last sunrise. Slowly, the sky started to light up and just watching the colors turning from pink to orange was a beautiful way to saying goodbye to Los Janos. After sunrise, it was time to head north right to the coast of Venezuela. The problem was that there are no flights throughout the week, so the only way to get there was taking a horrendous 10 hour long drive. I have no idea how we survived that, but the next morning we woke up right at the ocean in a cozy coastal village called Choroni. What's up from the Caribbean coast of Venezuela? Yesterday we came here after almost a 10 hour long drive by car from Los Janos because there were, there were no flights whatsoever and this is our last destination during our whole Venezuelan trip and this place is called Choroni. It's this kind of a small village located right at the coast of the Caribbean Sea and here we will spend like one and a half days exploring this cozy area and basically seeing the ocean for the first time during our trip. the way above Choroni village there is this old lighthouse to which you can get by a small footpath right next to many cactuses and enjoying this incredible view of the ocean but because it's very hot it's not that easy to climb here even though it's only about 10 a.m. it's already like 30 degrees and I think it will be even warmer than that so let's now head to the top to see the lighthouse like so hot see that was our original plan to get there but now we are climbing much higher to the all the way to the top of this mountain and this is a very strange hike to get there and it's like 40 degrees but we're almost at the top so let's get it now I don't know if you can see it, but I'm fully covered in sweat. But the incredible thing is, I managed to climb here to the, all the way to the top. There is this cross marking the summit of this mountain. It's called the Christ Mountain. And from here, you have this incredible view of that beach called Playa Grande. There is the Choroni village. And now, bad thing will be, that we need to climb all the way down and I think that the descent will be even harder than climbing up here up. After hiking to the viewpoint, we headed to a local beach called Playa Grande. Full of palms and blue water, this is how I would imagine Caribbean coast to look like, except here we were the only foreigners.
came both during sunset and sunrise, which marked the end of our whole Venezuelan adventure. Well, what can I say? Spending this time in Venezuela really shifted my perspective on this country. The incredible nature beauty as well as the culture and the people. Even though Venezuela still goes through many challenges, making traveling here a bit more difficult, I feel like Venezuela is really a hidden gem of South America. It was a crazy trip, seeing the tallest waterfall in the world, wildlife of Los Llanos, Caracas and even Caribbean coast, and I know there's still so much to explore. I hope you enjoy these two videos showing you my experience of traveling around Venezuela in 2024 and I will see you in another video next week. Goodbye Venezuela. Until next time.